Wow, what a fulfilling road prayer has been a year of creating hope in our communities. 2023, 2024 in our district 914, comprising part of Uganda and the whole of Tanzania. As a governor, as we come to the close of this road prayer, I will want to report to you fellow Rotarians, road tractors and friends of Rotary that we have had a very, very impactful year. And I can state that over 80% of all the goals we set so far have been achieved. And we still have about another 100 days to go. With regard to basic education, and literacy, which has been our signature project, I want to say I'm not complaining. I'm a very satisfied district governor. Clubs have gone out of their way. They have constructed classroom blocks. Chitala Secondary School here, where we started our year from, a street building is under construction by the Rotary Clubs of Webaja and Garuga. Many schools have been constructed in various parts, classroom blocks. Libraries have been given and stocked. Water has been given to schools. Sanitary towels have been donated to our girl child in different parts. But most importantly, some rotators have gone out of their way to feed, to provide food to children who used to go to school and spend a whole day without taking anything. School fees has been paid by Rotarians to different needy children. I went to Dar es Salaam, and Rotary Club of Dar es Salaam every year donates over 3,000 discs to schools in Tanzania. Washing schools has been promoted. Dr. Club of Arusha took me to schools in Arusha, another part, and they have done wonders with the wash, but still in schools. Alongside very many things, Dr. Club of Chigo here, Chigo Seven Lakes Golf, they are intending to construct and change the whole structure and set up of Chigo Prisons Primary School. And the project is going to cost two, two, over 2 billion Ugandan shillings, and they have started on this work. We have secured a global grant of over 140,000 US dollars to equip rural schools with, with the solar and computers to enhance education. We participated in the Dia Day, in the National Dia Day celebrations. And here I saw Rotarians going out of their way, running to different schools, donating readable materials, books, but also physically reading with the learners, with the pupils and students in different schools. I have seen clubs going to schools for the blind, giving blind children reading materials uh, for the blind. I saw the Rotary Club of Buziga going to a civic school for the blind. Rotary Club of Mengo, they went to Salama School for the blind, where they donated new materials to the blind children, alongside very many interventions. As a governor, who fronted basic education and literacy. I'm a very satisfied man, and I just say thank you so much, Rotarians, for creating hope through promoting basic education and literacy. But we have also done other projects, not only in education projects. Clubs have done economic and community empowerment. Clubs have promoted maternal and child health. I visited the Rotary Club of Arusha Mount Meru and participated in their fundraiser of walk and run. Clubs have promoted the environment. 
clubs have donated blood. Clubs have participated in the cancer run here in Uganda. And also Tanzanian clubs came on board. We participated in the All Africa Peace Concert, which was graced by the trustee to the foundation, Trustee Mate. Special thanks to PDG Bob and PDG Emmanuel for leading us in all this. And we have continued to support our Peace Center at Makere University. So a number of projects have been conducted in this road trail, not only in education, but even in other areas of focus. With regard to membership, I can say I'm the happiest man on this planet Earth. We set a goal of growing our district by a net of 400 members. So far, six clubs have been chartered, four in Uganda and two in Tanzania. In Tanzania, we chartered the Rotary Club of Agamoyo and we chartered the Rotary Club of Mount Schengen. In Uganda, we have chartered the Rotary Club of Kabale City, the Rotary Club of Lake Bunyonyi, Uganda, the Rotary Club of Masaka City, the Rotary Club of Entebbe Base. And Lungujia was also chartered, and we have in pipeline the Rotary Clubs of Muyenga Bukasa, the Rotary Club of E Muyenga Sunrise, we have Maya, we, we, we have Kashari, amongst the other clubs we are intending to chatter before the outro year end. I cannot thank enough my membership team, led by the district membership chair, Ronald Senyondwa, and the two country chairs of Uganda and Tanzania, P.A.G. Marianne Mugo, and also Bob Nsereko from Uganda, and the entire membership committee. As I talk now, this 914 is the leading district in membership growth on the African continent, and we are number eight in the whole Rotary world. Rotract has also grown, and Rotract clubs have grown. I thank my DRL, Prudence Asobola, whom we have worked together in this journey. As I was inspiring the Rotarians, she was also inspiring the Rotractors. As far as the Rotary Foundation is concerned, I want to clap for Rotarians and Rotractors for supporting our bank, for supporting our foundation, because this is the blood, this is the heart of Rotary, because Rotary is about doing good in the world. And when we support the foundation, then we are securing the future and we are assured that we shall never lack resources to do good in the world. Utilization has been also been achieved. The target we set for utilization even as I speak now, we are now at 65% utilization, and most of the global grants come through in the second half of the year. There are many grants in, in pipeline, and I know we are going to surpass the target. The regard to our youth, our future, the road tractors and interactors, we have run very many miles with them. I'm happy that this road trail we have been able to pull off both the Interact Rider, I thank the District Interact Chair, Pius Birozancha, the from the Club of Waga Lake View, and the team for organizing the Interact Rider at St. Mark's College in Namagoma. I thank PAG Dan Damulida for giving us space in his beautiful school. I attended that Rider and it was so perfect. And the students went home back to their schools knowing more about Rotary, knowing more about Interact, but most importantly, with that heart of serving and helping the less fortunate peoples of the world. We also had the Rotary trailer in Kalangala. I thank our chair, Yusuf Chigoy, the vice country chair, who shared this trailer, and also the district services chair, Enjo Chiseka, and the whole trailer committee. We, we, we had over 240 participants in Kalangala for about three days there. And the stories the participants gave after this Raila were so fulfilling and they really benefited out of this. But I've also visited very many road track clubs in clusters 
I visited Rotaract clubs in Dar es Salaam. I visited Rotaract clubs. I, uh, when I went to Iringa, far deep in Tanzania, I met Rotaractors there. And I visited here in Uganda, the central region, the western region, and the other regions. So we have had a good working relationship with our, with our youth, but we can do more because these are our future. Dear Rotarians, these road tractors are not looking for help, but they are looking for support. And let us continue embracing them as our partners in service. Dear friend, I would like to state that as a governor who is about to hand over to this governor-elect Agnes Batengazi, I'm excited. It has been a very, very fulfilling year. Of course, it comes with a huge responsibility. A lot of time is required. Resources are required. You, you know, you encroach on family time, on work time. But when you see that the goals you set have been achieved, you, you, you know, and you, you see that you have created hope and an impact and a difference in people's lives, it becomes so rewarding and so satisfying.